Good afternoon. It's uh, Saturday, the 20th of May, and uh, I'm at the trailhead of the Superior Hiking Trail. We already walked up to the 270 degree overlook and took a look around, but we left the uh, left our packs here under a tree. Uh, late start today. Um, it's two it's quarter to two, so I think some of our mileage plans for today are out the window. Uh, it's also it's a lot hotter today than we expected, so we're gonna have to pick up a little bit more uh, more uh, water and that because. Uh, She's going to feel the heat being black and the sun and we're out of the wind down here in the trail. So this is going to be six days. Uh, originally the plan called for kind of like about 77, 78 miles. We'll see whether that's doable or not. Uh, we got cars at a couple of locations. If we don't make it, I'll just pick it up next time. If we do make it, great. Uh, we'll see how it goes, see how the weather is. But uh, it's going to be fun. It'll be good. So we have a pretty big moose print here. The size of it. Okay. And just over here, a little ways down the trail, and there appears to be moose droppings. Sophie, come on. Yeah. So, yeah. There's still some moose. There's the end of story. The ride up, Harriet was telling us about the loss of moose. And the population numbers here. Very similar to what we have back in Manitoba. And, uh, in fact, actually, she was saying they've shut the season down for the last two years. And I guess in here you do have to put into a lottery. And uh, if you get drawn, she said that's kind of it. You get your one chance. Soap. Okay, Attica. She's liking it. There's a few rocks and roots on this trail, but uh, so far, the first part of it is you just follow the logging road. And, uh, you know, right at the start, we, even though we read it in the book, we still second-guessed ourselves and went back and looked at it and decided, is that the right way? And yeah, it was. So, follows the logging road, follow the blazes, and you can notice there's a sign where you got to turn off. So, we just looked for footprints, you know, and between the moose prints and the deer prints, we could see that they were human prints, so... We knew we were going the right way. Anyways, not a lot of video this section. This is, uh, got some time to make up today. Oh, this is nasty. Uh. Yep. And dog's pretty messy too. Now that looks a lot more like moose poop. That's more what I remember it to look like. And we got the last one coming along. And the uh, Debbie Longlegs is gone. <laughs> That's okay. He's lightweight. He's doing ultra light. Bum, 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 bum. And I'm carrying five pounds of kibble. Right? Right, Sophie? I'm carrying your kibble. Oh, we got a little bridge here. We just went over our first little section of boardwalk and ran across one guy with a pair of trimmers doing some trail maintenance. And, uh, so, Very cool. Hold on. No, up, 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 up. Go. Sophie wants to go in. Ooh, one at a time maybe, eh? This is wiggly. 
Good girl, Sophie. Quads are burning. Beautiful forest. That's only a feet. I've got a pretty good view over here too, Mr. Parkey. Mr. Parkey. And it's a good thing you didn't meet him, hey? <laughs> Very cool. Well, this is the end of day one. Today was a pretty tough day. Not a lot of footage out there. We uh, got off at the trailhead really late and we had to uh, get ourselves in here. We're at Jackfish Lake, uh, Jackfish Creek campsite. So we did about nine miles in today. Uh, I think we figured that's out somewhere around 15 or 17 kilometers. Anyways, we're pretty whooped. We just finished dinner. There's no fire. There's no, I don't think there's going to be any socializing around the fire. I think we're all going to bed. Uh, that's the general consensus because uh, I just think we're pretty tired. Sophie was a champ here. She kept trying to run downhill. I had to break her all the, stat, all the time, but uh, she did really good. She had her supper and a uh, little bit, a little bit uh, to drink, and then crashed out, slept for a while, and then begged for food. So I guess she's back to normal. We'll see you in the morning. So we got dropped off up here. Now one of the things Harriet did is rather than coming up the Jackson Lake Road up through here in the Otter Lake Trail, she came up the Arrowhead Trail and then came across to here. Uh, she said it's a it's a better road and it's more more traveled most of the time that if something happens to your vehicle or you get stuck or something, uh, there's more traffic on the Arrowhead Trail than there is on the Jackson Lake Road. So she comes up the Arrowhead Trail and came in and dropped us off. And uh, we dropped our packs here. And then we, we went the mile up to the 270 degree overlook, where if you are a Canadian, uh, you have the option of being able to pick up cell signal from, uh, from Canada. And we also picked up cell signal uh, kind of right up around here on the Rosebush Ridge where we were able to check the jet score. My wife was uh, texting us the score and unfortunately Vegas won uh, yesterday afternoon and the Jets are out uh, of the playoffs. But they had a heck of a good run and uh, we'll be there to cheer them on next year. Maybe they'll make the hockey news prediction come true. But uh, it was a great run by them and a lot of fun. It's good to see the city get everything into it. Um, so uh, th this area here is, is a logging road. Uh, really easy just stay on the trail all the way and then you, you get a uh, w we thought right after the stop maybe we missed the trail and we were going down a couple game trails and anyways we just kept going until it kind of turns off and there's a sign very clear really easy this is super easy flat uh, we crossed the bridge at, at Andy Creek uh, and we thought hey this is this is nothing uh, we'll keep going well it, it was nothing till we hit about here a uh, little bit of an elevation here but this area here uh, being later in the day and the first outing for a lot of us um, this year, first big outing, this this was pretty rugged. Uh, this was more rugged than I expected, and I guess we we should should figure that out with the the. Uh, I don't know if you can see it up here. You can see the elevation profile uh, between here and and Jackson Lake Camp Campground. That those hills uh, they caught us pretty good. Um, so we made it to like I said, ran out of water down around here. Um, there's two creeks at Jackson Creek. Uh, I guess the lake flows out of one and then the creek of the other. The first lake I crossed and the trail goes sharp to the right. And I didn't see that. I went up the, uh, I went up the, went up, went up the ridge and I just kept going. And uh, it was uh, not very fun. Uh, wandering around, tired, sore at the end of the day. My legs were starting to cramp up and stuff. So uh, it, uh, it's the first time that's ever happened to me. Never had that happen. Just not enough water. I don't think I drank enough water that day. And um, so once we finished, I, I backtracked to the trail, picked it up, and then made it back into camp, uh, which meant uh, my choice of spots here was uh, limited to one with roots. Uh, so I picked a spot where I could lie between the roots and had a spot for Sophie between the roots too. So today, uh, we're going to meet up at the road. The partner, uh, My partners just took off uh, here but while I did this, uh, just because they, they didn't want to wait. And I'm, I'm just a little slow today. I'm just kind of kind of taking it easy. Uh, Probably have lunch at Woodland Caribou. Um, I think the Hellacious Overlook's about here. I think that's on the map today. Uh, follow a ridge along. 
Gonna camp either at North Carlson Pond or South Carlson Pond. We're not too sure which. Uh, when we get to, we'll get to North, we'll, we'll see how we feel, see what we've done for mileage. Uh, we're gonna do about 10 miles today. So we, we're gonna do the start here. We're gonna push through to here. And then we're gonna stay in Judge Magny uh, tomorrow night. Uh, but uh, 10 miles a day, I think is about what we'll do. So we'll do maybe five or so this morning and then uh, we'll do the rest this afternoon. Anyways, um, let's get on with it. Impromptu trail maintenance. Short work of that. And there we go. Throw that off to the side. And the path is clear. Well done, Cam. Two good deeds for the day. Okay, come here before you roll down the hill. She's not going to roll down the hill. She's telling. Okay, good girl. Just lay down for me. They say, way back in the distance there, is I over there. We have a beautiful day here. And how you just overlook. Like superior off in the distance. Who brings you some? <laughs> and the trail falls. Pink flagging tape. Go out that way. Good evening. It's Monday, 21st of May. It's the end of day two, and we made it to North Carlson Pond. Uh, we were hoping to make South Carlson Pond, but when we got here, I just declared that I was done. Uh, about 3.30, and I wasn't moving anymore. And uh, I just didn't feel like it. I, I wanted a little bit more time to rest, and uh, I think everyone agreed. Uh, we're all here. So uh, we're kind of chilling out. It's uh, Eight o'clock here, and about ten minutes ago, we saw a nice black bear walk through the swamp, and uh, got a kind of crappy picture on him. It was a little slow to get the camera. Um, hopefully, I don't get a better picture later on today. <laughs> um, but uh, just in case, we did uh, go fetch out these uh, little items here, just in case we need them. But uh, so we had a pretty pretty tough day today. A lot of elevation made it to the hellacious overlook and uh, got a good view of Lake Superior uh, walked along a lot of ridges and when we got up on the ridge and moved along it was it was really nice it was uh, quite good so we'll take a look at the map see what we did so we started this morning at Jackson Lake campsite and uh, it's a really nice this is a cedar bog area in here very very pretty really nice uh, some boardwalk some bridges a couple of creeks for Sophie to jump in uh, then we go through a hardwood forest through here. Um, I think there was a logging road pushed through here as well. And uh, just uh, probably if you were coming from the south going northbound, it might be a little hard to find the trail. You just, just up your way to the, the right if you're coming southbound. But uh, they got a nice signpost for us uh, coming from the north to, to connect with it. Came across the road. And you make your way up to the Hellacious Overlook. Uh, which is, uh, I think it's, 
I think it was in and around this area, if I remember correctly. I think it's, it's right around here. Um, and uh, we had lunch at Woodland Caribou Pond. And there's, uh, I think it was just just before here and, and right in around here, there's some, some pretty heavy logging in there. It makes for some travel, uh, some, some tough travel. And then there was right up here, there's some logging after Woodland Caribou. Um, it's a little tough to find the trail in there. But uh, we were able to do it. Nice walk along the ridge here. We moved along really quick. Not a lot of change in elevation. A little bit more change in elevation once we got down around here. Uh, and I was starting, starting to feel the elevations and Sophie yanking on me and pulling me along about here. Uh, which participated to my decision at North Carlson Pond that I decided I wanted to stay here. And uh, so we got, we got the creek that runs through here in the swamp where we saw the bear. And hopefully he'll leave us alone. Uh, we got... Uh, 2.3 miles tomorrow to South Carlson Pond, and uh, another three then to Hazel. There's a bit of a road walk in here, and we got another big road walk tomorrow here. So, I think that's it. That's a good night from North Carlson Pond. Well, good morning. It's day number three. And hopefully today, now that I dug this out of my pack, we'll get a few shots during the day. We've got a big day today, 15 miles to Judge Magny, but I think there's about uh, just under four miles of it are a road walk, so it should be pretty easy. Anyways, it is 10 after 7 o'clock, and speaking loudly, hopefully everyone is getting up. <laughs> Figured this was a good way to do it. Beats rattling the pans or starting the stove. Anyways, it's Tuesday, May 22nd, day three. First section of road walk we have here is, fortunately, I, I can't remember it. You know, I'll just put the name here because it's like Tom something or other. I think Tom, Tom Lake Road or, no, that's farther. Jack Road, Jack Tom, I can't remember. Anyways, we're between, between South Carlson Pond and the Hazel Campsite. And it's our first section of walk that we have on this little forest road. It's uh, been a pretty cool trail so far this morning. It's 11.30. Got out a little bit late. Like I say earlier, it's supposed to be a fairly long day today. I'm not quite sure exactly how far we'll make it. And I bet she's going to soak herself. Cool herself down. And she does it. Keep herself nice and cool. You going to get cool? Cool? Okay. Okay, good to go. And plop. And she cools herself down and she's good to go. There you go, Sophie. Okay, come on. Good girl. All right, let's fix her. Better be sure I'm pack. Hey, off you go. Does that feel good? Okay, let's go. Come on, so. This would be a heck of a hill for the dogs to go up. Let's just hope we don't meet a pack coming along. She would be a little excited. Okay, come on. Let's go.
What are you doing? Pop? Doing good? Okay, let's go. Whew. Just finished the uh, 1.8 mile road walk. Uh, I think we figured we got, you know, uh, 4.9 miles left and we started out at uh, North Carlson Pond. So today was over 15. So we've done 10, which is normal about our day's limit. And I'd be ready to stop now. But uh, just about to head into Judge Magni Park. Sophie's doing good. She uh, has not passed up a single puddle. She just had some, uh, about uh, half a cup of kibble and a little bit of water. She was getting a little hangry and uh, we're on our way. All right. Easy girl. Whoa, 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 whoa. And this is the biggest thing I find about hiking with this girl is she loves to pull. Uphill, downhill. Easy girl. Whoa, wait, wait. Which can be very challenging. Wait, wait, wait for me, Sophie. Good girl. Uh, so when it gets really downhill, I take her off the hook and I hold it in my arm because then I can use my hand to brace her. But she's been a champ at going over boardwalks and up and over bridges. She's just been really, really good. I'm really impressed with her. She's done very, very good. Uh, of course, I look for her needs first, mine second. Whenever I stop, I make sure that she is happy and fed and watered, and then I take any water or food. So it's a lot of extra work, but I like it. It's nice to share that with her. Okay, up, up. No, no, pass on this time. Up, good girl. Wait. Not a girl. No, no. She likes water. Sound of rushing water drives her on. And if she's thirsty, okay, go, go. Good girl, wait. If she's thirsty, she moves a little bit quicker. That a girl. And as long as that tail is up over the back, she's a happy girl. When she gets a little tired, it drops down to half mast and then hangs right down at the end. But she's doing really good. So, we are three, well, we're 10 to four. So when we're taking off, I think we'll probably get to campsite about 6.30. All right, back in the, back in the woods. So the first two days of this trail, kicked my butt. I don't have any other way to say it. It kicked my butt. One, I carried way too much because I thought it was flat. And it was anything but. First two days are a lot like Mantario, a little bit like some of the West Coast Trail. Uh, a lot of elevation change, a lot of ups and downs and roots and rocks. And uh, days feel hotter than what we expected. It's really hot for us. Well, the ranger sheriffs that we saw on the road said it was 74 degrees in his truck. But, uh, you know, I'm not sure what that is Celsius because I don't understand Fahrenheit, but I think 70 is like 20. So 74 is probably 21, 22. We were banking on temperatures of like 13, 18 as a high. So it's warmer. The nights were, we figured they were going to be about like maybe high single digits. I think last night it was probably down about three. It was the coldest of all the nights so far. Anyhow, I think Devil's Kettle's up next, unless there's something really outstanding. But this is the one thing I notice. Being from Manitoba, our hiking is in, you know, maybe we're in Burr Oak, like yeah, if you're up in that, with some aspen groves, or you're in uh, Canadian Shield territory. These are hardwood forests with aspen. And uh, a lot of the ones we've gone through are 
hardwood forests and very unique, very different. Look at this dog, hey, what a champ. On a boardwalk, no problem. And away she goes. And we'll talk to you maybe a devil's kettle. Sitting here on the Brule River, Brule River, and it's uh, 20 after 5. And uh, it's been a tough day, long day. Um, stopped a few times for Sophie to sit down, have some water, relax. And she's just tired. So it's been a long day for her. It's a long day for all of us. We're all really tired. So she just had supper. Is, uh, she's working pretty hard, so she had her dinner right now. She ate that all up, and she's just having a little nap after eating. And she had to play in the water here, <clears throat> which she really enjoyed. <coughs> so I think Devil's Kettle's just a little ways up here, and then after that, it's a mile to the campground. So we're probably a mile and a half, maybe, from the campground. Um, it's just, this was, this was when we needed to stop. It was out of water, we were by the water, she was hungry, he, you can just tell she was running out of energy. So I chugged down a Gatorade and ate some, some snacks and she had her dinner, so it's good. And we'll head on into the campsite in about five minutes and the Devil's Kettle's right on the, the path, <clears throat> I'll take a look. If it's much far off the path, I'm pretty tempted to keep on going. Um, yeah, it's a long day. Long day. So I think we're getting kind of close to the falls because it's getting louder. I can see some boardwalk up over there. And you can see it's turning around this gorge. It's making a little bit of noise. But it's been pretty walking beside this river all this time. Hey, Soph? Except for the fact that she keeps wanting to go jump in it. Don't you? Hey, you keep wanting to go jump in it. Yeah, you do. All right. Whoa! And this is one of the problems. You walk with the dog. Ugh. All right. It's pretty neat. Pretty cool, the view from above the falls. Up, 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 up. There you go. Whoa, whoa. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Really? What's that, like 100 steps? I think I remember seeing somewhere said 99 steps. After 15 miles, carrying the dogs back, that's a lot of steps. But thanks for putting the benches there. Woo! I know I gotta go that way. So we started from North Carlson Pond, right here, and it's about 0.7 to the Arrowhead Road. And then from Arrowhead Trail, the sign says to the Judge Magny parking lot, this 15 miles. So we woke up here. This is an aspen forest. It's quite nice. A lot of beaver down there. South Carlson Pond is a nice campsite and would be good, um, but not not good enough to make us do that extra two miles to regret doing it. 
Hazel, I would bypass. Uh, definitely would. Walking through this area, there's a pine plantation. It's very nice. A lot of pine in here. This was, this part of the trail was rather easy, especially this road walk. There's some big hills here. Uh, sled dog trails on it, which look uh, look like it might be kind of fun. Um, rested here, took a nice break. This road walk uh, had sheriffs and a uh, helicopter in the air. Someone saw smoke somewhere in this area, so the sheriffs were coming up and down this road and the fire trucks and helicopter in the air and quite a lot of commotion, but they told us, uh, they basically determined when we were resting here, they told us that they figured that uh, nothing to fear, so no worries. Um, one of the ladies left some gear stuffed here and she's gone back to get it. We walked through here, up through the mountains, Cut more of my video on that one, my normal ones, and back down here and we started hearing the Brulee River. Really started feeling it, I'd say right in about here. This is about where I started feeling I was done for today. And uh, when we hit the Brulee, once we got to the Brulee River, we had to stop and take a, take a break. Let me turn the map over here. Once we hit the river here, uh, stopped and filtered some water. We stopped again. Well, actually, I looked great. So once we hit the river here, we can hit the river around here. Anyways, stopped and filtered water, had a break. Finally made it down to the camp, campsite here. A bunch of them have headed off to uh, Nanny Boodoo's. Uh, it's a restaurant Harriet told us about on the way up here. But uh, pretty worse for wear there. Uh, everyone's pretty tired. Uh, they headed off for lunch. I stayed here with Sophie. Uh, <laughs> at first, I was just going to down a couple of cliff bars and have a cup of soup. And, oh my. A cup of soups in here. Then I'll have a little cocoa bread. I'm just going to have that and. Uh, Sophie's having a sleep. Not sure what we're going to do tomorrow. We're going to have to talk about it. And we'll uh, see you in the morning. This is a section from the Judge Magny State Park campground to the sites on the Little Burl River, which is our destination today. Short day today, about three miles, we figure. After yesterday, that's what most of us preferred, just to keep it enjoyable. Easy girl. Easy girl. Good girl. Good morning. Welcome to day five. Uh, this is Thursday, May. Uh, would be what, 25th, I guess, eh? It's the 24th. It's 24th. May, May 24th. Stick an edit in there. And we didn't do a very big day. We started off Judge Carlson's yesterday. Uh, every, most, uh, most of the group went and partook of the uh, food and atmosphere at Nanny Bajou's. Hopefully we'll throw a few pictures in here. That's where 
get a few from some. Um, but we, we only did three miles yesterday, short little walk, uh, very nice walk into the little Brule campsites. There's two campsites, we're in one of the, the larger campsites, uh, I think the southern one compared, you know, there's a north, two sites to the north and one site to the south, we're in the southernmost of the two sites to the north. Very nice here, we saw an otter earlier this morning that we, we missed, uh, being able to get a camera, he went by too quick uh, down near the water. Uh, nice sight. Had had some uh, had a fire last night and ran across a fellow doing a through hike. Uh, Casey from Chicago. Hope you make your hike out there. Uh, it was a lot of fun sharing the fire with you and uh, good to hear your your uh, exploits so far. Um, other than that, let's take a look at the map and I'll show you where we went. Okay, as I said, it was a rather short day. We started off over here at Judge Magny State Park. Came up, came across. This looks like it would be a road, but it's not. It just seems to be, I guess, a private boundary. Uh, some pine forests and some cedar trees with some, uh, you know, netting around them to keep the deer from eating them. Um, come down here, there's a, there's a gravel road in here that you cross uh, as well just before the, the sites. Uh, and one of the things here, we're at this site here, this, this north one. Uh, one thing we can hear is somewhere, it sounds like over in this area, uh, a gravel operation or something. And they were, they were going until about 9 o'clock at night with the, uh, the equipment last night so uh, quite a bit heard dogs barking heard laughter you, you can hear the traffic on uh, on the, ro the road here or here so um, today we're gonna start off we're gonna head down here we're gonna come down we're gonna do the lake walk we're gonna head up we're gonna stop at Cadence River uh, over here and we'll see maybe maybe we'll end up a little bit farther but uh, that's kind of kind of our, our, our target so far today hard to say if we'll make one of these I think it'll depend on how we feel um, and the weather End of the goal is Linskoog Road. That's, uh, that's where we moved our vehicle to yesterday. All right, this is day number five. We just started moving here on day five. And Sophie's back to her normal tricks. But look at this path and the moss here. And we're walking along the little Brule River between the two sites. Hold up, Sophie. And you can see every now and then you can see down into the gorge there. And drops off again over on the the, the other side <clears throat> there's a good little spot to see every now and then you can see down Sophie this is the worst thing she does <sighs> but you can stop here look down there eh look at that drop stay back stay back stay that's a steep drop there wouldn't want to make a wrong turn at night and get too far off. And that's right outside the south Little Brule River campsite, which I'm not sure if it's down there. I think it might be down there. But uh, there's the pathway down to it. Not sure if you can see it. I don't know if it's down. Whoa, whoa, Sophie, come back. Might be either down there or somewhere. I'm not going to wander down. Take a look. But uh, we'll carry on the trail here. And uh, keep moving. But I just thought, you know, the moss there along the edge, that was a real nice little spot. Thought I'd share with you. First couple days, I didn't pull this camera out too much. Would have liked to show you more of the northern part. Uh, it's a little more rugged. It's a lot more like Mantario. A lot more ups and downs, uh, climbing over rocks and roots. And uh, yeah, it was, it was much more much more rugged than what we had expected it to be. But uh, we've got the lake walk coming up today. Now, unless I see something really interesting between then and now, that's the next time we'll come back at you. What you smelling, huh? For about 45 minutes, that tail will stay up right over the back. And this is what she loves to do. Smell. Lots of smells. Sophie, what you smelling? Hey, what you smelling? You smelling deer? You smelling deer? There's a whole pile of fur here. The wolves got a deer, and Sophie's quite enjoying the smell. Up, up, out of girl, out of girl. Go on, on go. Come on, go go. Good girl. Let's go. Come on, and more deer carcass. Probably some bones kicking around too. 
seen a few of them on the Manterio on the Hunt Lake Trail occasionally in the spring. You come along, and you, see, you see the remnants of a, a kill. And it was, always fascinates me, because you never find anything other than the hair. The bones, sometimes you'll find the bones. But uh, most of the time, it's, it's gone. There's no, no hide, no, no nothing. Every little bit is consumed. Come on, girl. Stay on the flank. Good girl. And look at this. What a champ, eh? What a champ. Except she can't pass up the mud. Just got to watch those little leans there. Lake Superior and the Lake Walk. Walking on probably the largest collection of skipping stones that you could ever find. And they're all nice and rounded flat by the action of the waves. It's pretty cool near here. The water is cold. Didn't stop Sophie. And nothing seems to stop her. She had a little bit to eat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No campsite here. Notice for kayakers. <sighs> Just a warning of what kayakers need to have to be out on Lake Superior. This is a popular picnic spot here. There's your mark for the trail and some rocks to walk over. All right. Are you having fun? Are you having fun? You look like you're having fun. Hey? Okay. Yeah, you look like you're having fun. <laughs> sure, Lake Superior. Very cool. Come around one of the points on the lake walk, and there's evidence of some fires in here and some cut and split wood. I guess if you were pushing it and it was cold, I you could probably stay here, but it's not on the map. Anyways, let's carry on. Sophie, let's go. So we're between the lake walk and Cadence River campsite, uh, heading up towards Blueberry Hill. We just came off, I believe it's called Kelly's Hill Road. Coming through a section of forest that's uh, being logged. It's a different type of logging than what I'm used to seeing. Used to seeing where they just clear cut a whole entire area. You can see they're coming through and they're taking strips out. Little strips. And then we got another strip over there that comes along. And the trail part's maintained, but you can see there's a stump been cut there, another one. So it looks like they're coming in, taking strips uh, out, and selectively taking some of the trees. So, and leaving the rest. Different type of logging. Not, uh, not too familiar with the, what you would call it, or whether it would be called managed, or working forests, or whatever you want to, different terminology for it, but... Uh, it's different. It's, uh, you're able to still use it for recreation like this, like we are with hiking. Uh, it's good habitat for animals too, with the open and, and the shelter. Uh, but uh, yeah, just a very different, different type of logging. Very different. Hmm. We had a little break at the start of the Kelly's Hill in the trail there. And you're going good. You had some water, you had some food. She enjoyed the lake. She got for a little swim. Didn't go too deep. She wanted to go in more than once, but uh, eliminated her to twice 
being the fact that the water's so cold, and I didn't really want to stop and warm her up after it, so. But she's a, been a champ today. Just, uh, it's a little afternoon, and we're, uh, maybe, well, maybe Cadunce, maybe a little farther, hard to say exactly where we'll stop. We'll, we'll look at Cadunce, we'll look at the map. That'll be 5.3 miles today. And we'll see whether we stop. We'll look at what the distance is for tomorrow, what's left, and we'll make a decision as a group. I don't know if you can see it, but up in the log is a squirrel. And he was just down on that birch log as we came around. I was reaching for my camera because right back here, Sophie, this way, come, come here. Right here, the size of the moose print, eh? It's a big moose print. Big moose print, just outside Cadence River. Whoa, another one there. Obviously, a squirrel. Let's see how close we get. She's gonna lose it, probably. Sophie, careful. On by, so on by, on by, come on, on by, on by. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, and he's gone. Do you see a squirrel? Wait, wait, hey, 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 get back. We're hiking the spur trail down the Cadunce Canyon here and uh, we left our packs and gone for a little walk and it's quite a nice, lots of nice views, very steep canyon, very nice. Right, here comes Andre. Yeah. I'll stop at the first campsite. Sure. This is the loop. Very good. sections here. You can see it way down there. The camera's pretty steep. Can't really see too much through the cedars. It's a good thing. It's way down below. Grotto. Okay, Sophie, up. Around. Come on, back. Back. Up. 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 Ah. Come. Go. Go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Nope. So good morning, it's day six, our final day here. And uh, just walking along the west fork of the Cadence River, uh, where the, the canyon is, is spectacular uh, through, the, through the trees that you see it. I don't think it'd come out very well on the video, but uh, it's just beautiful. I'm gonna put a new bridge in there. And here are the beams that have been brought in for it. That's a solid looking set of beams. 
Guys, look, Sophie, get off them. Oh, dog. Anyways, I guess that's uh, bridge they'll replace this year. The amount of volunteer work that's gone into this trail is pretty amazing. It's pretty good. Uh, hats off to all of them because, uh, you know, none of this happens without, uh, without people sharing their passion to do it. So, good job, folks, at the Superior Hiking Trail Association and all the trail clubs. And you can see they got some other supplies over in the woods there for their bridge. Should look really nice when it's done. You see the canyon down there. See if he sees a blue jay. And there's another, there's two of them. Two blue jays in the forest there. This way, so. This way. Any good picture? Haven't seen a lot of wilderness or wildlife uh, on this trip. We've seen a few things. We've seen a porcupine, we saw a bear. Uh, we, we did see a snake crossing the road a while back and Sophie never noticed it, which was good. Unfortunately, she found this one, but it's already already past its prime. It's expired, unfortunately. Tiny little garter snake here, it looks like. And that, unfortunately, don't know what happened, but we're... it was like that when we came upon him. She was just sniffing it. And, uh, you know, he's Unfortunately, I don't know, someone must have maybe stepped on him the other day, or I don't know, a bird maybe, hard to say. Anyways, poor little snake. Oh. Might be a bit noisy with the stove. It's okay. Yeah. I think I can get over it. It adds to the ambiance. Okay. The originality of it. Oh, you're oh, man. You do man. This is day seven. We've just finished our section hike to the Superior Hiking Trail, for, uh, which is the first section of the map, uh, the sixth part of the map, which is from Canada to Woods Creek. We're heading on out to Highway 58, I think it is, uh, it, and uh, that's where our van is parked. Uh, but uh, we've had a good trip. The first bit of rain was last night, and we put this tarp up here. And uh, one of the nice things about this tarp that uh, I, I, I made it uh, from Ripstop by the Roll, and it was uh, it's their Hex 12 tarp kit. And 
you know, I'll give you a shot here on how we put it together. Some of the things, uh, some of the features that I put in it that were a little bit different uh, that worked for me. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at that. On each of the ends, these little line locks here. So these easily allow you to adjust the tension just by a pull. And then you leave it, no knots. Took these night eyes carabiners, these ratchet carabiners, again, just give it a tuck. And it locks and holds the tarp nice and tight. Just gotta make sure they lock. They did one of them did let go last night, I guess too much rain pooled on this side here. So this is uh Sil nylon, I think it's 1.1 uh, .1 or 1.2 ounce sil nylon from where it stopped by the roll. And uh, tarp did good, kept a section of dry ground underneath here that uh, Sophie was lying in, but just decided not to. Oh. We're just about, oh, maybe 15, 20 minutes, maybe a little longer, how to camp. At Durfee Creek, Durfee Creek Camp. Final day, heading to the car. I think we just made Wildflower Hill. Would be appropriate. Lots of flowering bushes and a nice meadow here. Overlooking Lake Superior out there. You see, there's a lot of fog. You see a little island out there. And Grand Marais down over that way. That might be Pincushion Mountain. Hard to say. Don't know the geography very well. You can see some terrain off in the distance there. Almost all our days have been very good weather-wise. This one's not too bad. A little rain, thunderstorm came through about four o'clock in the morning. Sophie was a champ. First thunderstorm in a tent for a dog. Hopefully she won't be scarred for life, but uh, seems to be okay. She got through it without too much, just a little reassurance, covering a blanket. And then she went back to sleep with the rain pitter patter on the tent. Very pretty. I hear little rumblings of thunder off in the distance. It's getting pretty hot in the rain gear, I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. Rolling in. Come on, so.